It's when we're outside the door at the auditions. And I remember, well, I vividly remember our meeting outside the door in Galveston, Texas. You remember that? Yes, I do. It was one of the more physical moments yes. on the show. Oh, you got to refresh our memory real quick with this. Take a look at this. This is the first time we met. You were so excited. <laughs> Oh, that's your stepmom. Well, the family enthusiasm from you was incredible when we were there, right into the eye. Now, how are you feeling before you get out there? I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. I'm just ready to get out and do it. Let's get out and do it. All right, take a look at her journey while she gets set. Live. Here we go. So being a small town girl, I never would have thought, you know, I'd be in the top 10 girls of season 12 American Idol. Like, that's huge. It's big. <laughs> Well, my last performance, I felt like it went perfect. Amber, legs for days, pretty little dimples. Oh, thank you. Even though I got great feedback from the judges, in the back of my mind, I still heard them say, you know, I need to work on my confidence. You have to believe it before anybody at home is going to believe it. And sometimes I think you doubt yourself a little bit. This week, I just need to show my confidence and show my personality. I'm more than just some legs, I'm saying. <laughs> Perfect song for you, in my opinion. I mean, you you had no shortage of confidence, and rightly so. Your voice is beautiful. Uh, there was a lot of runs in that song, and I wished I could have heard you just hold a few notes here and there to just hold it, because your tone is exquisite. And um, I got a feeling I'm going to be hearing a lot more of that, though. <laughs> and Burr. <laughs> I'm just going to call you Burr from now on. That was a 10 billion, quadrillion, medillion. Amber, Amber, no. And I'm so happy that you are showing your personality now. I know you're not only legs, but sweetheart, you, your, your vocals are um, surpassing even this competition. I mean, I'm, I'm being honest, like, I, I, nothing that came before you is even on that level. I mean, I loved all them runs. Do it all the time. I like it. The fact that, let me tell you, when people do Whitney Houston, they always, um, normally they seem like they're having a hard time. How do you get up there with that smile on your face, yeah. don't bust a sweat, don't gotta move, don't gotta do the eyebrow, the nose, nothing, and just sing so effortlessly? I'm... I am, I am a fan. Bars, vote for Amber. 
I do believe, y'all, that uh, fellow judges, Amber is definitely in it to win it right now. Yes, yes, Lord, yes. So, but listen, you take on the late, great Whitney, one of the greatest ever. Dude, and you work it out. I'm so proud of you, man. Listen, you ain't got no fear. And what I said to you last week about believing in yourself and then people at home are going to believe, that girl believes right there, y'all. She believes now. Now she knows. Miss Amber, I've been waiting to hear you sing all night because you are one of my favorite, favorite people in this whole competition. I just hope the people, um, I hope America heard you sing Funny Valentine as well because I feel like it showed another side of you. I loved you tonight. I love you every night. By the way, I love the new hair. Um, but uh, meaning the color is very pretty and it looks great. Um, but no, I... I Personally, I was like, wow, so she's, I, I didn't care for the way it was like, she's taking on. It's not, you're not taking anyone. You're, you're paying homage. You're 18 years old and you can sing your behind off. And I'm so happy that you're in this competition that America gets to vote for you. <laughs> Those great moments that we love to watch on the show, seeing you sing and so comfortably. Yeah. How are you so comfortable out here like that? I'm just really happy to be here. I'm just grateful for everything. And I think everyone grateful for that performance. Good job. Well done. If Amber is your favorite, you